And that was the difference with 10 ADDA round trip. <laughs> what? What did we learn, Palmer? I don't know, sir. I guess we learned not to do it again. Yes, sir. Apparently, I didn't realize in all these years that the difference between analog and plugins, it's all in that ADDA round trip. Is it? Well, let's see. All right, we got a comment a couple of days ago at the time of this video uh, on the Fusion, SSL Fusion Analog versus Plugin, uh, the episode with the vintage drive, which is <laughs> the module that is the most different from the plugin of all the SSL plugins that mirror the Fusion. And there's a funny comment, and uh, Jay, that's his name, uh, thank you for the comment because at the end of the day, we are turning this into a positive and we're making this video, which will be a reference for other people and future discussion about this because it's a recurring subject actually. So we're gonna shed some light uh, with real test on this. And the comment goes like this, you guys still don't realize, or maybe you do, those round trips through the converters are the only differences in sound. So first of all, there's no multiple round trips, there's just one. That's the first thing. The plugin is 100% the sound and the hardware losses, loses, you, won't, you mean. A little bit of dB and frequency getting converted twice. The converters are cutting some of the top frequencies, nothing more, nothing more, there's just that. <laughs> this is literally the one plugin that is the most different from the hardware, the vintage drive, and there's so much that is different in all of it. But it's just the converters cutting some of the top end, which I don't know what converters you are, because if they do, they're broken, especially with one pass. But they sound the same. Just learn how to use the plugin and stop trying to compare to different sound sources. So. <laughs> <laughs> While it's funny, this is obviously someone who just simply doesn't know. You know, I, it, it, it's, when I get this comment, I realize that it, some people are just maybe like, I don't know, frustrated because they can't get the hardware and they either buy into the marketing or they just want to believe that, you know, the hardware is the same. Uh, and I've done a video, uh, multiple videos at this point. <laughs> I've done one video in particular. Uh, about the battle analog versus plug-in is always people that don't have a ha hardware and don't have analog that screams and shout that plugins are the same. We don't give a damn. <laughs> and we don't care what other people use either. But anyway, uh, they sound the same and that's another discussion. The point of this video is to see if, well, first of all, if you missed that video that he commented on, the uh, SSL Fusion Analog versus Plugin Vintage Drive, I'll put the link somewhere here. Go watch that video, because the difference, again, like I said, it's one of the most brutal differences in a analog versus plugin comparison, which is funny he picked that one specifically. Um, but in this video, we're gonna see if one ADDA trip make a difference, and it's all the difference when comparing analog versus plugin. <laughs> Let's get to it. Report back to me when uh... I don't know when it makes sense. All right, we have three tracks, a synth, a drum, and vocals with effects. For each one, we're gonna do one pass through ADDA round trip, five passes, and 10 passes, and we'll hear the difference. I'm gonna speed up the video, but I am going to film it so you can see I'm actually doing the passes. All right, first pass is done. Now I'm gonna take this file and pass it four more times. This is our fifth pass. Now I'm gonna pass it five more times. And I'm gonna do the same with drums and vocals now. And 10, all this has been done, so to speak, with my worst conversion. So uh, with my Moto AVB system at 48 Hertz, clocked internally by Moto. So I didn't use my mastering grade converter and I didn't clock the system with my mastering converter as I do usually when I either mix or master. So it's basically the worst kind of conversion that I can have here. And I'm recording this with a zoom recorded at 48, 24 bit, 
uh, which will then go on YouTube. So let's hear if you can pick the difference. First, we're just gonna compare the original with the first pass, which is the only real life scenario because nobody passes uh, material through converters five or 10 times. That's just for fun and games. But let's hear if this one ADDA trip is responsible for the massive difference that we heard in the Fusion hardware versus plug-in video. That was the synth, let's do drums. Now let's do vocals. I will always love you, whatever words I say. I will always love you. I will always love you. I will always love you, whatever words I say. I will always love you, I will always love you. Okay, and that was the difference for drum, vocal and synth with one pass of ADDA conversion in the worst conversion that I can have here. And now just for fun, let's listen to the difference between the original and the five passes. Before we continue, if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses on many different genres and a lot more. If you like the video, you wanna support the channel, either grab some merch or use the super thanks down here. Let's go back to the video. Drums, original, and five passes. Vocals, five passes. I will always love you, whatever words I say. I will always love you, I will always love you. I will always love you, 
Whatever words I say, I will always love you. I will always love you. And now ten passes. Drum stand passes. Vocal stand passes. I will always love you. Whatever words I say, I will always love you. I will always love you. I will always love you. Whatever words I say. I will always love you. I will always love you. And that was the difference with 10 ADDA round trip. <laughs> what did we learn, Palmer? I don't know, sir. I guess we learned not to do it again. Yes, sir. A 48 with internal work clock, not using my mastering converter for anything, not the conversion itself, not the external clocking. So I think we can completely debunk <laughs> the idea that one pass of ADDA would make any significant difference in a plug-in versus hardware test. Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. And for those people that for, for some reason, uh, they also think that if you add an ADDA round trip, uh, will make the plugin sound better, that it's completely wrong. No ADDA trip will make anything sound better. And it doesn't matter what ADDA you use. It doesn't matter how much money you throw at a converter, the conversion itself will always be detrimental for audio. Now, with the converters that we have today, is beyond insignificant, but it will never be better. The best that we can hope for our converters is that they don't do anything and they degrade the signal if they do that at all, because when we talk about mastering grade is literally insignificant. They do it by zero point infinite zero one percent and that's the best we can hope for will never be plus something it, it will never unless we talk about personal taste and we we get like for example uh, my adda has a transformer option okay and it has a transformer option and also a parallel processing uh, some sort of um uh, parallel compression in it uh, which is switchable of course thank god but in this case, you can use, there are some converters, that's the point that I'm trying to make, like for example, the Burl, uh, this one, if you engage the transformer, they are equipped with some sort of color, whether it's a transformer, whether it is a parallel processing, whether it's whatever that is. In that case, it can be used either on the front end uh, of a recording or during mixing and processing or mastering to color the signal. But again, the conversion itself, I wanna drive this concept, will never be a plus, will never be something better. Uh, we can argue that some converter, like especially some old DSD converters, 
in their way to degrade the signal, they fit more certain type of music, like punk, rock, metal, okay? And that's why you see um, some engineers still having those old converters because they do have a sound. But when we, when we say they do have a sound, it, it's not because it, it, the conversion itself, it's better. It's because the color of that particular converter is pleasant. But I wanna hear what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like and please consider using the super thanks new function down here and support the channel. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe, see you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up.